Hey guys, I am Mishan and welcome to Cybernetico. So, in this video, we will learn about higher order components in React. So, first of all, let me explain all this code here. We are having two components, users and photos, sorry, posts. We are calling this both in app.js like this. We are importing this and calling this in this div class name. In the users, we are fetching all these users here from JSON placeholder, all the users and we are mapping it through this array and returning the name. We have users. Similarly, we have the posts. We are having an array of posts, the state we have, a function to get all the posts, use effect hook and the same thing. We are returning the user title from the posts array. Fine. We also have h2 here and we have this h2. So the basic thing to know here is the both components users.js and post.js they are same. I mean the logic is same. For example, we have same state. We have the array state I mean. Only the name is different. We have this get posts and get users function. The functionalities are same. We are calling fetch API using the API endpoint and returning response. Then we are setting inside it the state. Then in the use effect hook, we have it here. We are calling the function. Then we are returning the mapped array like this. So we have two components, users and posts. We have to create, let's create a higher order component that will solve our problem. For example, we don't have to use the function two times here. We will write the logic only once. It will run in the both components. It will take some parameter and it will run. Same way it will be done here. So let's see how to do that in the React component. So now what we have to do is we have to create a file here in the source folder called higher order dot js. So we get a functional component like this. In this return, I mean in the function of higher order, we will return one more return or one more thing. We will return a function. So return function, let's say HOC. In the HOC, we will put this. Fine. It's done. Remove this as well. And fine. So first, now what we have to do is we have to remove this default export from here and do this. Let me import the component of higher order. So import this component and simply do this const uh, users comp equals to higher order. Then we will pass this users component. First, let's pass the component title just users, not the component. So we have to export this as well. So export default users comp, user comp or better make it users comp. Save it. Also remove the posts from here. Save it, save it, save it. So users comp is here. Fine. We are passing the title. So let's get the title in this component. So we can say title. In this div, we will simply make an h2 and we will render out the title. We can see, we will see post, sorry, users now as the title here. If you make it this, it will change dynamically. Let's do the same for posts. We don't need all this. Now remove this effects. This okay, we don't we need this but letter. But here what we will do is see we are passing. We are doing this. So let's do it here as well. Remove this. Copy this. Paste this. Make this as posts. Make this as posts comp and quote it defaultly. Now we refresh. We will not see it here because we are not importing this component here. So import it. Okay, higher order is not defined. Let's define it or import it. 
god i'm so tired so tired pretty fresh we will see posts but we are not seeing here why we can not see posts because there is no title find refresh why cannot we see posts users com export this post com export this higher order posts okay call it here as well fine now it's working we can see the title set successfully now let's just pass this function let me bring it here first we have users and posts so we have to just cut all the function and the state we don't need it here we just need this users mapping here and here we have to paste it here so paste and then import the use state hook and use effect hook simply like this change the users to data so it will be done here and here change the set users to set data and change it here then third thing to change is the function name this should be not get users get data change it here save all these things fine just like we passed the title we have to pass the component name called users so we don't need the h2 of users here and the post save and save so just pass this users here as arguments and here we will pass the function of posts we are passing two things here posts as a string and a function here as well users as a string and users as a function so here we don't need state and effects so remove it so we are passing it here so we have to receive it as well na so we will day we will say component so we will call it as a component so for example let's say we had it here how do we call it we can call it using this save and refresh the page we will see nothing because nothing is here in the div in the return so we can add an h1 in the users and say hello from users the same thing we can do in posts so let's make it an h2 not h1 we can say hello from posts here we are using adding users and here post and we can see it here successfully but what about the data how will we pass the data to show it here it's very simple just pass it as props in the component like this let me receive it as props the way we do it and we can uncomment this then we can say data dot slice dot this map then we can see all this data which is usernames for the component of post same thing can be done so uncomment and make the posts wait sorry data dot po data dot slice dot map and all refresh the page refresh and we can see all these things but see we are not seeing the title of the post posts because we have none instead of title we have this which is called sorry instead of wait a second data dot slice title we should get it here but we are not title wait a second yes we are not getting title because we don't have title in the users because see we are just calling the users so if you make this as name we should see all the names so same api is called for the both components users and posts so to change it we will do this so to change it how can we change it we will pass the third thing here in the component of higher order this will be a string called the last word of the api call for example we have the users so we have to pass this users in the posts we have to pass 
sorry pass posts now it will come up here let's say let's say let's say the source or response not response what is a better name for this we can say request so pass the request here dynamically so request and add a dollar to make it dynamic now we will don't we will not see the posts because it's dynamic we can only see the post sorry let me explain why we are not seeing posts because we are mapping the data this data users data which has no name in it but sorry we are not mapping the data we are mapping this posts which has no users in it it has title instead so we can say user to title and it will be here see we have this posts and we have this users let me differentiate or make an HR tag between them a horizontal line so here we have posts we have users sorry we have users here and post here all done with a single component called higher order so we are calling the component in both components i mean we are calling the higher order component in users component and in posts in the users we are passing the title the component function and the api last endpoint like this users or posts see both in both we are doing this it is coming in this component as title as title c the users is the title the component all the data is component and the request is this request the api last word i don't know what is called because i'm not i'm very tired right now to think fine so we have request here so it's fetching the data according to request according to the posts or users fine then it's also getting stored inside this data that's being stored inside a data state this is the component that we are rendering and in the component we are passing the data as props it's coming here as data and then we are mapping it successfully in both components users and posts so it's like a full circle we are calling the higher order component here then exporting the component here it's coming here all these things we are passing then again it's getting called like a function here we are having a state which contains all the data as per the api call we are passing the component again here with the data and now it's coming here and it's getting mapped so that's how or that's what is a higher order component in react and how to use it